Tonight we're learning about a rental nightmare for a family who recently moved to Atlanta. Now they said they're now sleeping in their car because the Airbnb they rented was never supposed to be rented in the first place. Uh, Fox News Janice Yu explains. It is horrifying because we didn't come here with the intent on being homeless. This has been home for Sydney Dunson, her fiance Frederick Campbell, and their three kids who are 10, 5, and 7 months old. We don't have any more money to, to get another place to stay because now since we're in our car, we have to put it in with gas. You know, the kids have to eat. This was not how the family's new life in Atlanta was supposed to begin. They made the more than 700 mile trip from Detroit to Atlanta for Campbell's new job. The couple paid $2,600 to stay at an Airbnb in DeKalb County for a month. But just a day after settling in, this was posted on their door. We asked, you know, asked him about the eviction notice, and he said, well, that's been taken care of. You know what I mean? Y'all have to worry. It's okay that you guys stay there. Okay, that's fine. You know what I'm saying? We would like to see proof to make sure. That, that our state is secure after paying 26 something hundred dollars for the state somewhere. And he said, yeah, I'll bring the paperwork tomorrow to show that, you know, that I that I paid for it. and he didn't show up. The couple says the leasing office told them apartments in the complex are not allowed to be used for Airbnb and they were told to turn in their keys and leave. As for the $2,600, the couple says the difficulty in getting that money back is the source of their problems. We're pretty much going in circles. It's like circles. It's pretty much like talking to a robot. They've been talking to the person they rented the apartment from and Airbnb to try to get their money back. In the meantime, the couple says they have no choice but to stay right here. As a family, my children should not have to go through this. You know what I mean? They didn't ask to be here. They didn't ask for anything in this situation. They just along for the ride. And at the end of the day, they're the ones suffering. A few hours after we spoke to the couple, Airbnb told us they issued a refund and helped find the family a new place to stay. They're also looking into the complaints made against the host. Janice Yu, Fox 5 News. It's a proposal to protect it.